Hello guys! Before we start this video, I want to give a huge thanks to Clocks and Colors for gifting me with three amazing pieces from their website. Clocks and Colors is a North American-based company. They provide items such as rings, bracelets, necklaces, t-shirts and more. All their heavy metals are handcrafted by master silversmiths in Bali. I highly recommend to check out their stuff. They were so kind to give me a discount code to share with you guys. It's 20% off if you use the link in the description down below. With that said, guys, let's move on to the video. Move! Move, Gertl! And of course, we're always sleeping. Always. So guys, we came from Moss, then we took a train to Vestby and then from Vestby we took a bus from Oslo. So now we are in Oslo, we will wait one hour and then finally we will take our train for Perken. Seven hours later. <laughs> well, you're asked, Blondie. Bergen Station. This is really beautiful. Welcome to Bergen. Food. Give me the fucking food. Look at this nice, nice hotel room. I can say the same for the view. Wow, wow, the view is really beautiful. Oh, look at the bathroom. Nice and big. Yeah. Nice and big. Yeah, yeah. Nice and big. She's eating cookies because she's an, an unhealthy. Leave me alone. Soon we are going to have a barbecue with these friends that I never met.
Sarita. The next day. What's up guys? What's going on? As I promised you in the last video, today finally we are in Bergen. Let me just say something. This city is amazing. Today I want to show you not just uh, stuff from uh, Mayhem history, but some of uh, Bergen history, you know. In this video, guys, there will be Burzum, there will be Gorgorov, there will be famous studio when Mayhem and other bands recorded their album and other goodies. So if you want to see all the stuff, be with me and let's go. So guys, we walked uh, from the center that it's just down there because here there's a famous house with a famous musician lived in Bergen at the time that I absolutely want to show you. So the house is there, but we will walk up here, but then also we will go down there and I will show you better. Let's go. Our musician, Leap guys, there, right there, number five, door number five. Did you guess of who I'm talking about? You have three seconds. So guys, if you couldn't guess who's the musician, it's Varg Vikernes. Varg Vikernes lived in this apartment, number five, Bergen when he was younger, when he started his musical career, but also his apartment from where he drove with uh, Snorri to go to Oslo. He drove seven hours straight to meet Euronymous, and uh, we all know how it ends. Uh, Euronymous was killed. And also, if my memory works well, this is the apartment where Varg did his first interview, where he told to the journalists that he burned the churches, etc. And when they took the infamous picture of him holding the knives and the hair covering his face. Now oh. guys, let's continue our tour. Let's go. So guys, I don't know if you have seen the look of the lady, how she looked at us. We already been here this morning and I was telling her, it's probably her, the mother of Varg, you know? <laughs> yeah, but there was a oldie, oldie one this morning also, drunk as fuck, so like, yeah, to alcohol used to be the mother of Varg since he hate alcohol, etc. Maybe she did drink what it did, Exactly, so... Yeah, she looked really bad at us, but I think that uh, she don't know who lived in that apartment before, so... So guys, we didn't have to walk too much to find a new place. It's just down there, but I want to show you how distant it's from the Varg house if you want to visit Bergen once. The Varg house is just there, and the place that we will go to visit is just down there and this guys it's really a famous place so you can i will not tell you if you are really true norwegian black metal fan you will recognize this place immediately you know that we are going to be something good so let's go it's this one you recognize it no give them a hint still not So yes, this, if some of you didn't recognize, is the famous uh, alley when Kvitrafn, so artist name from Gorgorov, their ex-drummer in 2004, did the one of the most famous picture in Black Metal history, where he was here standing with the face painting and there, there was this uh, old woman walking up. This is history, guys. This is history. So guys, if you don't want to be like them losers, please slash that fucking subscribe button. Button. <laughs> button. <laughs> button. Slash button. the subscribe button. And became, I don't know, my oh. follower. I wanted now to film another place, a beautiful place. The problem is that, uh, as I said before, you know, 
uh, in Bergen is never dark, you know, like uh, in other places in Norway. But since I say that, it started to be dark, of course, because no matter where we are, but if I say something, it will be the opposite. So I said, look guys, we'll not be darker than this. And it started to be dark. So we can film the, this place, but I will show it tomorrow for you. Stay with me guys, and I will see you all in a couple of seconds. So guys, here we are, we are back. And today we are in front of uh, Grieg Hall. It's a famous concert hall here in Bergen. But uh, for us, what is important for us that inside this building there's a studio recording when uh, one of the best black metal out there recorded their album. And uh, this is most famous because Mayhem recorded the mysterious Doom Satanas inside this building. But not only, Varg recorded all his albums inside this uh, building. Also Emperor recorded the classic album signed here. And other bands like Enslaved, Winder, and all those bands were produced by the same producer, Eric Hundvin, that it's a Norwegian Bergen producer that is most famous for his work with black metal bands. I wanted to go inside guys if it was possible to see the studio recording but seems that the place is closed right now so unfortunately we can't but I will show you a little bit around of the place. Let's go! So guys, now we are paying a ticket to this tram that will bring us to a safe church, a famous safe church that uh, has been burned in 92, if I remember, by a guy that nobody know. Yeah. It's in Norwegian, I don't understand anything, English. so... Uh, why have a Norwegian girlfriend if I have to pick up English? Give me my phone. I don't give you nothing. Give me my phone. I don't give you nothing. Ni one dollars. One dollars, I don't give you. Where is your phone? You have it. Oh, oh, oh what you're doing? Oh. We are going here, guys. We start from here and we go in to this church and then we'll burn it again. Do I have it now? So guys, we came to the station and now, of course, because of course, every single fucking church have to be on the uphill road. So we are walking up and I think that uh, at the end of this road, finally, we'll see the famous church. State church. State church. Or, I mean, the new one, because okay. originally, we know that the original have been burned in 1992 yeah some people of you asked me why you don't go in uh, Sweden and film the death grave and I was like uh, that's a good idea but it's expensive if you subscribe please that will be already a step in the right direction we are close oh finally some downhill road or don't don't tell me that we have to take the right one there we do of course. I oh, think so. Hello.
されたの